Yes, Hatha. my lady. Let's try and pick up where I left off last time. Skuma, uh, maybe. Let me shut this down a little bit. Uh, pick up where I left off last time. This might turn into a test stream, which I'll have to delete if I get a infinite sound loop with my two monitors. I, I'm not sure really why that's happening. So uh, let's just see where we were. Present in our city. What do you know of this? I believe it. Let's see. We can take the lexicon to uh, Van Chanzel. I guess that's more or less right. Or we can kill the leader at Broken Helm Hollow. Broken Helm Hollow. That's a little bit of a mouthful for me. I don't know why. But, uh,. Let's uh, try killing the bandit leader. Now we're not. We're good. We have to kill him in Skyrim. You don't just arrest people and bring him into justice. So uh, let's see what's going on here. Where's my release? Be a falsehood perpetrated by the Empire in order to weaken the citizens' confidence in your ability to rule. Excellent. Then there's no need to devote any resources to stopping it. Thank you, Anuriel. That will be all. Anuriel, a word, please. Yes, my lady? It's been brought to my attention that the poison, known as Skuma, may be present in our city. What do you know of this? <clears throat> I believe it to be a falsehood perpetrated by the Empire in order to weaken the citizens' confidence in your ability to rule. Excellent. Then there's no need to devote any resources to stopping it. Thank you, Anuriel. That will be all. What can I do for you? Speak. I wish to hear everything my subjects have to say. I'm waiting. Out with it. Yes? Need something? Okay, so let's go to Broken Helm Hollow. What am I running into? Let's see, where is it? It is 5.06 p.m. Perhaps we should go to go to bed first. Huh, what's that over there? All right, where is Broken Helm Hollow? and end up here. Well, looks like what I'm going to have to do is maybe go to the map. Why isn't it showing Broken Helm Hollow on my map? Broken Helm Hollow. Well, I can't find it on my map for some reason. 
So now I'm going to have to what, try and bring up my 3,000 plus hours in Skyrim and try and remember what of the many of hundreds of caves in Skyrim and stuff where it is. Okay. Broken Helm Hollow. Let me try to find it on my map one more time. If not, I'll just do another quest. So we have this. Kill the broken, uh, kill the bandit leader at Broken Helm Hollow. Now you know that in Skyrim, you usually have to kill the person that the Jarl puts the bounty out on. It's never a matter of bringing them to justice or anything like that, arresting them. No, you got to kill them. And usually pretty much all of their followers too. So where in the heck is Broken Helm Hollow? M, show on map. Are we close to it? Is this one this action? Ah, here it is. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about this. Well, yes, Skyrim is the greatest game of all time. In my opinion, I've done quite a few games. I've never been a primary gamer, but yes, I think Skyrim is the, is the greatest. When my wife gave it to me some time back, it took me a long time, probably six months before I even installed it, but once I did, I was hooked. So, Broken Helm Hollow. So I actually discovered this earlier. Yeah, I think I've got Broken Helm Hollow right here on my map. I happened to discover it earlier. I know about going to the map and the press the M1. Oh, yes, it is the greatest game. Well, there's other contenders. I think that the original Half-Life is a contender for the greatest game of all time. But I, I really like Skyrim. For me, it has the most replayability value. So let me see if I can get the Broken Helm Hollow from this belt keep. Wait, I... Now I'm not using a heads-up display. I've got it turned off. And I've turned off my crosshair for my bow. I'm trying to play this Nord as an archer only with a Nordic bow. Since I'm a Nord, I'm kind of prejudiced towards uh, Nordic weapons. But I've been doing a pretty good job with uh, no crosshair. I don't like first person view, but if you look at the bow, you see that little uh, bar going up above the arrow tip? That actually uh, makes a pretty decent aiming device. Oh, I lost an arrow. I didn't really intend to shoot that. No, I don't think I've tried a Black Mesa. The only uh, Half-Life games I've tried was the original one and then Half-Life 2, which was also great. But I don't think I enjoyed it as much as the original one. The original one was great. The way you got all your clues, you know, from the scientists and uh, characters in the game. Let's see, am I on the way to Broken Helm Hollow? Well, yeah, maybe. I guess I went out the correct gate this time. You know, even after 3,000 hours in the game, you get turned around sometimes. Mm. Let's see, I guess it's going pretty good. I'm trying to watch it on my laptop to see the stream quality. I guess the stream quality is fairly decent. All right. Where am I again? I gotta go. Right now I'm on the special edition of Skyrim. I enjoyed the legendary one a lot. And 
Sometimes I think that old rim is the best rim in many ways because I can get the uh, all the mods working with uh, you know the special uh, what do you call it menu and everything you need for that so you get the, all the things you need to select from the mods. One of the things I've never liked about the special edition is the thicker grass. I mean, you get enemies, you, they're killed in the grass. Sometimes I can't even find them anymore. I just never liked that. Special edition has some improvements, but I, I'm tempted to reinstall old rim and play it now and then. Maybe, you know, uh, what do you call it? Requiem? Alright, so earlier in this play, I went up to Foral House and got my ass kicked. <laughs> and I did bump into Broken Helm Hollow. So how do I get over there again? Do I run around this way? Look at how much darker. I've got Rustic Weathers on. Which I think is a very nice uh, weather mod, but you know what? I think that sometimes I'm starting to miss even old climates of Tamriel. Let's see. Is that going okay in my laptop? Uh, seems to be. Now we might be having a storm come up. Maybe I should have gone the other way about the map. You know what? I normally don't fast travel. I haven't really fast traveled in probably over a year or so. But for the purposes of streaming, see I... I was never really into recording and streaming for a long time, and that was bad because back in the old rim days, I probably tested every house mod in the game. Now, if I were making videos on those, I mean, I could have had an entire YouTube thing on that. So let me just go ahead and, you know, fast traveling. I'm thinking maybe for the benefit of any followers, you know, I get if you know, watch it by my uh, place. It might be better for that purpose. So let me just fast travel to Broken Helm Hollow since I've already discovered it. Otherwise I'll be running around the base of this mountain looking for it again. And end up in Foral Host and get my ass kicked yet again. Okay. Now it's too dark almost for me to see anything, but we have a bandit here, shooting arrows at me. Remember, I'm not using a cross here. Now I hear wolves or something coming up. And I can barely see that wolf. We got him. With a bash and shot. I made a mistake. I should have slept back there in Riften and come here in the daylight. Yeah, I use the carriages and, uh, what, the ferries now and then? Oh. Let me see. Alright, I hit him without a crossover using my normal club. I don't like fast traveling personally, but if I'm going to become a streamer, perhaps you know any audience that might want to join in, they might prefer that. I usually don't like the meat or skin of animals to go to waste. I have another uh, opponent up here. Now since I'm not using a heads up display, I've got it turned off, I do not see the red dots. And I can barely see that guy there. And he dodged. Oh, can 
gonna stick my oh I got hit him. I, and that's another thing. I don't know how much the health is going down or even mine. Oh, kill him. And I don't really like to run around in first person view. I get turned around too much. Let me see. I'll, I'll take the gold, the lockpick, the arrows. For a long time now, I have not looted clothing, you know, armor off of the dead. That just seems, you know, kind of a bad thing to do. Really, as far as I can tell, the only people that, uh, completely strip the bodies, you know, of the clothing, or the scavenger that you come across now and then. And uh, remember those three uh, bandits and personating as uh, imperial soldiers? Things like that. Even the mages typically don't strip, you know, the bodies. So I try and play with a little bit of class. I don't play as a frost roll. Or something like a lot of people do basically killing everything in sight so uh, I've got to get some light on this because this rustic weathers is actually pretty dark sometimes I will take weapons to uh, sell them uh, let me do a quick save here in case I get killed it's very possible I'll get killed you know, it's so dark. Oh, God. I can't see anything on my little laptop here. I'm going to have to do something I usually don't do, but I'm going to wait. Usually I prefer a bed or something. Let's see. Uh, let's see if 10 hours will lighten it up enough. Okay, I think that's it right up there. Here we can even maybe see the people we killed. Yeah, I try and give a little bit of respect to the enemies. Of course, maybe I'm just too deep into the game to the point of lost reality. Sometimes I would rather be in Skyrim, I don't know. But there are other decent games out there, and probably the first game, real video game I had was on my old, uh, I think it was an e-machine, called, it was a mech game called Genome. I kind of reminisce about that. Well, okay, maybe vampires too. Well, thank you for that. But yeah, I don't want to play as a, a vampire. Yeah, I've never really... If I ever got vampirism, I'd try and get rid of it as soon as possible. I think I might have the werewolf bug or ring or something from uh, Fall Creek. But uh, yeah, maybe the vampires. But I just don't want to strip the corpses of uh, their clothes. So, let me see. I'll get in first person view. Load up my... Uh, and let's off walk here. Now, one thing about this, since I don't have a, he a crosshair, you know how on a sneak mode, the bow turns horizontal? That destroys my aiming. I don't really, I, I need a lot more practice shooting without a crosshair from this position. So that's why I'm not exactly a sneak archer. I'm more like a stand-up, you know, warrior archer, I guess. Let's see.
Yeah, I don't think the reason I played as a vampire is I, I just really didn't want to become an evil character, which I... I guess they don't have to be evil. I guess Serana's halfway decent. But, uh, no vampires, werewolves. Primarily, the only person I've played the most is a Nord. And, you know, not this character, but some of them I even try and make look a little bit like me if I can. The next character I probably play the most is an Argonian. For some reason, I think they're pretty good. So I go from one extreme to the other, Nord to a lizard. But uh, a vampire could be anything. I I don't know, maybe someday I'll play one. But I feel like I'm playing with evil. You see, sometimes I wonder if Skyrim can't be used as a psychological test to see if you're a sociopath or a psychopath or something. You know, if you run around killing everything in sight, you know, doing all kinds of bad stuff. Or if you play good. I don't know, that'd be interesting. Use it as a psychological test. Am I in sneak mode? I get, oh, there's somebody. I was jabbering. What was that? Hey, got him on two hits. Oh, yes. now I'm in trouble. Do your worst. I've got to stab him. All right. Now, let me see something here. Uh, I'm level 14. I haven't leveled up in a while. So, uh... Oh. Uh, settings. All right, I'm on expert level. That's my normal level. I think it's probably the best for me. One of the things about legendary difficulty is that uh, even opponents, which is close, no armor, they can take all kinds of hits. I, I think that's the least realistic. I don't like it. I think adept is probably the most realistic, you know, blow for blow. For both of them here? Let's see. You see my cross, uh, since I have no heads up display, I don't see that I'm hovering over anybody. Uh, here's the other guy. I've played into the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Uh, yes, I, I do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that this time. I mean, I might go in this time and wipe them both out. I mean, that's been in my mind, the back of my mind. But uh, the Dark Brotherhood, I guess you could kind of convince yourself that the, the assassinations are kind of gray areas, that maybe they're justified in a way. Uh, the Thieves Guild, be the thief, yeah, I, in the past I've, you know, pickpocketed and stolen, but not anymore, not for, I mean, I don't even go into houses and stuff and just start stealing, you know, all the food and items. I mean, there are a lot of people, you know, show you how to play, in a sense. You go in and strip a house, you know, Hadvar's house of all the goods and everything. I, I don't do that, because I... I'm trying to be realistic and you wouldn't go into somebody's house who's your friend and take all their goods and money. But uh, I played the Thieves Guild, the Dark Brotherhood. I might wipe them out this time and see how that works. The date side quests, I probably played those. I don't even really recall any what they are right now. Uh, if you can give some examples, I probably have. Tomato. Make vegetable soups. Let's see if I can make some vegetable soup right now. Now normally would you be doing this in combat, you know, stopping and making food. And 
Well, since I'm not playing a mage, and I rarely play that, I don't even use much magic anymore, being kind of like a Nord purist. I'm not interested in that right now. Medicine chop. Vegetable soup. Well, I don't have the cabbage or leek for that. Or the leek. Uh, so I don't have the ingredients. Ah, the Mace of Moloch. Well, yes, I remember the Mace. That's a great weapon. So I have played into some of it. I don't recall how far I went, maybe all the way. But yeah, I definitely had that. I was in the uh, House of Horrors, I guess it's called, in, uh, oh God, Markarth. Which I actually try and live in sometimes, but you know the the scary kind of like haunting wind sounds, the moaning or something coming, whatever it is from the house, it's a little bit too, too much. But uh, in fact, I've, as I recall that haunted house where the, the mace is down in the far basement back end, I think it has the most containers of uh, any house in the game. And as I recall, Aren't they all safe? I'm not sure. I used to open up the creation kit and hold them and look at the containers to see, you know, if they're safe. I can't recall. There's probably a mod about that house uh, that will uh, make it nicer. Now, here's a problem about having uh, lighting mods, especially if you're trying to make recordings and streams, you know, for not only for yourself, but for any audience that might watch, is it might be too dark inside these places. And I can tell you what, the climates of Tamiyal, Tamiyal interiors, I always kind of use the darker one. We wouldn't be seeing much of anything. But for some reason, I'm having a hard time to see anything right now. I mean, I thought that might have been way through. Let me look at something. Have we already completed this quest? Was one of these guys, maybe the guy that got up off that uh, sleeping bed? Oh, I think he might be up here. Well, we haven't completed that quest. Well, all right, so we, that's still open. But I think he might be up here. Let's make this easy if I can. Do I have any poison? Uh, well, frostbite venom's kind of good. Let me sneak up here. Yeah, as I recall, he's sleeping up there. Ah, oh, damn, he's getting up. At least I hit him. Well, I got it. Come on, come I should have run away more, but I was hoping that maybe I could bash and take him back. You know what? Now I'm back at the beginning of the cave. All right, let me see how fast I can get back to where I was. I should have quick saved after I killed these guys. Let me just run in here and see if I can just walk up and take them out. Quick save, right? That was a rookie mistake, not a saving. Unfortunately, I got back here pretty quick. Ah, quick save again, I guess it doesn't hurt. Get my 
my tomato back. I guess realistically you should be looting after you've defeated enemies. Yeah, I think you're on to something there. You might want to try as a good guy, but Skyrim's really a violent game when you think about it. There's <laughs> just so much violence going on. Well, I wasn't sure about those mods, if that does, you know, these uh, side quests, you know, for good guys. Well, maybe that's something I'll look into. But uh, the base Skyrim, yeah, it's really violent. I'll tell you something else I didn't like when I use a flames. Think about it. Hitting some opponent, any opponent, with flames is like killing somebody with a flamethrower. That's kind of a horrific way to kill somebody, I think. So let me see. Can I, uh... I don't think that frostbite venom really slowed this guy down much at all. Let me see if I have a more powerful poison. Probably not. Let's see, do I have one of those potions for uh, archery? Hmm. Okay, come on. I'll have to do the frostbite venom again. I might take this drought of health just in case I get hit, but it's only uh, 60 seconds. Ah, oh, shit, there goes my uh, potion arrow. And my sneaking didn't do any good here. Uh. Standing up yet? Can't win this. Well, I'm gonna be a chicken and run out of here. Oh, I hear my. I got killed just as I'm going out the door. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Am I going to come back? Where am I going to be? All right, I guess I'm here. Now I've heard and I've experienced that if you die at an inconvenient point, you know, and you keep getting killed and killed, the enemy keeps getting stronger and stronger. I think that's true. I didn't want to get killed with him standing right by me by the door. I mean, I had that as a another cave not long ago. I eventually fought my way out of that. Oh, which reminds me. I've been on the prayer mode because I think it looks really cool when you pray before the Jarl. Now I just discovered that. I might as well use a shout on this guy. Yeah, eating all the cheese wheels. Oh, let me see. I don't want to waste my poisoned arrows again. Now I've noticed that getting into the sneak mode doesn't really seem to help this guy. Now if you walk, if you walk in sneak, I think it makes you even more stealthy. We'll see, is he getting up? Uh, you see now, he didn't get up because we're in walk mode. But once I hit him, I'm going to have to be quick. If I can hit him, I might shoot over him or under him. 
Oh shit. Huh? I thought he jumped up pretty darn quick. I'll try and make this quick. And this is why I don't like first person view and get turned around. Aim low. Just as they used to are. say, shoot Can't it to waste. Wait to count out your coin. Count it out of you. Uh, Skyrim on Alexa. I'm not really sure what Alexa is right at the moment. I don't want to uh, go back in here and have him standing there. But uh, if that happens, I'll try and fight my way through it. As I say, since I have no heads up display, I have no idea of his health status or mine. Well, I guess I can look at mine by now. I'll pat myself for injuries. Oh, I saw my health seems pretty high. Well, at least he wasn't standing right there, as they sometimes are. Let's see. Yeah, it still looks like it's running pretty well in my laptop. So I'm very pleased at how this streaming is going. I finally got a computer that could do it, probably minimally, but. And then I up my uh, internet. Let's see, can I hit him without... Come on, go down, dude. But you know, playing as an archer, as fun as it is, it's kind of a... Oh, here he goes. He's going down. Now in Requiem, as I recall, you can, uh, you don't have to kill him. No, not like this. I hope he's not recovered all of his health. No. Oh, we got to kill him. So I heard the little thump noise. I guess that means we've completed the quest. All right. So we can go back to Riften and get our reward. Let me uh, go over here and see what this person has. I should take the shield, maybe sell it. I've got enough to enough space. Let's get the gold for sure. The arrow. I'm not interested. In that. Oh, I heard something. If that's something coming from Twitch, forgive me. I'm not experienced enough to know what it is, but thank you. I'm assuming that was something great. I'll figure it out here eventually. Okay, so I, as I said, I don't normally fast travel. I like to run around Skyrim, but let's just fast travel back to uh, Riften. This fail keep. Because I'm thinking that fast traveling might be better for any, you know, viewers that might come along. No, 
I think that maybe I'm going to report back to the Yarrow instead of the thing, of the lady there. And I better get out of my uh, shout. And let's see. I'll put it back on prey. So I'm going to basically uh, show respect for the, to the Anuriel, Yarrow. a word, please. Yes, my lady? It's been brought to my attention that the poison, known as skooma, may be present in our city. What do you know of this? I believe it to be a falsehood perpetrated by the Empire in order to weaken the citizens' confidence in your ability to rule. Ah, she must be Excellent. a traitor. Then there's no need to devote any resources to stopping it. Of course, Thank we disrupted you, the skooma trade all. in the Craigslane Cavern. I guess there's more to, to the skooma Harald, thing. I have... What can I do yes, for you? All right. What is it? The bandit leader yes. of Broken Helm yes, Hollow is dead. Anuriel, Excellent. You've done us a great service. And Here is your reward. Let's see. Yeah, I might go and destroy the Thieves' Guild this time. I, I'm not sure. Good journey to you. So what else is there that I have to do to become a Thane of Riften? I, I can't remember right now. Um, Thane of Whiterun, I've got Breeze home, Lydia's home watching uh, Lucia and Sophie. Uh, hmm. Then I'm the Thane of Falkreath. Cannot think of anything else. What? Welcome. As Riften Steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance, but speak your mind. Your family, rumors of corruption. <laughs> what do you do around here? I think you're a traitor trying to deny the skooma trade. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Siege of the Cove. I'm not going to do the drinking contest. Well, come on. What is... The rest of the school with me. What do I need to do from here to become Thane of uh, Riften? I forgot. What can I do for you? All right, tell me about the Thieves' Guild. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Well, you know, that's a falsehood. Maven Blackbriar <laughs> is in with the Thieves' Guild. Huh. A little stumped. 
Good I'll have to, to get you. my Skyrim book and consult this. Now, should I just blindly run around and try and figure out what I have to still do? Well, as Riften steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance. But speak your mind. Tell me about the Blackbriar family. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Okay, this chick, Nuriel, she is definitely on opposite ends of the Yarrow. She's denying the skooma trade, the impact it's having on the city. And uh, I guess she's just a big supporter of Maven Blackbriar. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. Ah, dang. As Yar Layla's house car, I would ask that you maintain respectable distance from her at all times. Tell me about the Thieves Guild. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratwee and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> what I really need is another quest from the Jarl. What can I do for you? But I'm not going to get one right now. Good journey to you. I could feel you laughing behind my back. Why would I ridicule you? Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. What sort of Ulfric lies? only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim, and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos, and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. Until next time. Well, you're wrong about Dolphrick. Did Harold send adjust. you to taunt me? I want to become a thing so I can buy honey side. Working at the Rift and Fishery is tough, like giant. but it Only puts some coin in my gold pocket. Coins and all this could be yours. Gems, potions, exotic ingredients, I've had them all. You know, maybe I should, uh... Let me stop this just for a second here. Pop on my laptop. Or maybe another uh, window, but it's hard to do it in-game. I don't have it on windowed mode.
see ya. Become Thane of Riften. Yeah, I'm cheating. Because I kind of forgot. site and look at it. Gotta become Thane. I forgot. After 3,000 hours in Skyrim, for some reason I forgot. Alright, this kind of bites. I guess in order to become Thane of Riften, I have to help out five citizens of the hold. Usually it's three. And then I have to go complete that other quest we have from the Argonian that was at the dock. So, how much time do I have left? It's 1.33 p.m. I have to go over here. Well, let's go over there. I thought I heard a dragon. Let's see. Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. All right. Slow down. No baby. time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. You know, I should kill him right now then. What did he give me? Maybe I can determine. Yeah, well, maybe that. I'm going to wear that sucker. What else did I get? I should probably go and sell my stuff. <laughs> no, I went out the wrong door again. Did you see someone run past just now? Great. Thanks. Bastard stole from me. I'll catch him, though. True Nords never back down. 
This should be good. Can this guy actually kill him and can I pick up some arrows? A second I thought that was a dragon wings coming up on me. But I guess that was that frigging troll. Which I guess is now out there taking out some of those bad guys at the other place. At least I think that's the bad place, right? Golden Glow or something?
So is this fun? I guess kind of. It just takes too much to kill a soul. dead, is it? Probably not. No, not by a long shot. But maybe it's stuck there and I can kill it. This is just too ridiculous. Too ridiculous. Come on, man, die. Alright, I've got to put on my headset display to see how far down this thing's going. Oh shoot, all those arrows and he's not even half dead yet? You know what? I'm going to see... Although, do I have a weapon? A two-handed arrow? A two-handed thing? Or it's war axe. Warhammer. Okay. My character has no particular skill in two-handed or anything but the bow. 
But I'm going to go in and see if I can take him out faster with the Warhammer. And look at the troll, being a troll, has been replenishing its health. Alright, come on, dude. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to wrap this up as a wrap for tonight. Uh, I'm a little tired from uh, work. So let me save it. Well, I'll just save it. For Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Oh, man. Don't lose it. Okay. No time to. T I'm going to go back to my other one. Because I like the thing I got. So there's the troll over there in the water, but he keeps regenerating. I'm going to save right here. I call it a night. Stephen, not Stefan, out. <laughs>